Hello and welcome to the Arpana Saladi podcast. Thank you so much for tuning in once again. We've been talking about Hudson Taylor, who was the man God used to start the China Inland Missions. And since we've started with Hudson Taylor, and since I had the opportunity to share about one of my favorite missionaries, Emmy Carmichael, this VBS with the children, I would like to share one interesting story from her life and this would give you a perspective to understand missionaries were common people like us yet they could accomplish such great things for god just because they trusted in god emmy carmichael who was she she was a girl from scotland and uh, she came as a missionary to india she was doing her mission work in Tamil Nadu we all know about it uh, if you don't know about Emmy Carmichael i would definitely recommend you to read about this great lady who served our people and who saved lives of so many young children babies and through her work and through her literature so this is one incident from her life where she placed herself in danger to help a robber a thief who's like the chief of robbers you see these people when we look at their lives like i told you in the previous episode we might be thinking oh this is just a problem that only i have i have to deal with this or you know everybody has a better life than mine i'm like suffering with so many things but when we look at the lives of these missionaries when we look at all these people who have accomplished such great things for god and god used them to do so many things I'm really taken aback and I'm like they are like thugs I mean how could they even do that and they normal people like us but I understand their trust in God made all the difference in their lives so getting back to the story Emmy Carmichael she put herself into danger when she helped a robber he was like you know uh, we all know robin hood right the english legend he was like the robin hood of uh, tamil nadu at that particular point of time his name was called red tiger now this is not a story that i'm telling this is something that has really happened and amy did something for this guy so his name is called red tiger so this guy called red tiger he did something one day and he was accused wrongly and the police were searching for him he knew that you know they were usually people who were often hired to lie about so this guy called red tiger he wanted to prove himself innocent but he couldn't do that so he was staying away he ran away and he lived in the mountains basically he robbed from the rich and he gave to the poor just like robin hood and he thought since he was helping the poor that was you know he was doing something right but of course god called stealing sin so that's another story again now red tiger though he thought he was doing right he was really sinning against god now emmy heard of red tiger and she wanted to very much tell him about lord jesus christ you look at the desire in her she wanted to teach him god's word but would that be possible you know what she did thing which she always does she prayed to her heavenly father and god who always answered her prayers put the desire in red tiger's heart to find emmy and talk to her robber chief who is red tiger learned that amma would be in the jungle okay people called her amma so he learned that emmy or amma would be in the jungle looking after the construction of a new building overseeing some you know construction so he and his men crept quietly through the jungle they watched emmy and her helpers you know they watched them for like 8 days then when they were convinced that it was safe enough to speak to her red tiger and two of his men stepped out of their hiding amy you know what was her first reaction she was overjoyed and she thanked god for giving her an opportunity to talk to red tiger this decoy you know this 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 guy who was roaming around like a robin hood She was not afraid. She was not afraid at all. And the most awesome part is that she made tea. She made tea for Red Tiger. 
while he told her his story you know he explained his story to her his wife had died because of all this trouble and uh, he said i have come to ask you if you would take care of my three children amy immediately said i will care for your children but red tiger if you will promise me one thing i will take care of your children amy bargained she said promise me that you will never use your gun unless it is in self defense red tiger thought for a minute and he said okay am i promise unless it is for self defense i will never use my gun to harm anybody amy told red tiger of the lord jesus and he was touched to think that god even loved a sinner like him he had done so much wrong and caused so much unhappiness but red tiger was not ready to give up his sinful ways perhaps some day he thought okay maybe maybe some day but not today amy urged him to give himself up to the police and to confess his crimes but red tiger was afraid because the police would torture him now just 5 days later red tiger and his men were captured by the police they were treated very very cruelly so badly that they were hurt and they were taken to the hospital now amy you look at her guts amy visited them amy visited the people those red tiger and his men even though she knew that anybody who visits these people or who claims to have contact with these people will also be put in the prison for one month but you look at amy's heart dear christian for this man amy trusted god to protect her and she remembered again that god protects even though the protection is unseen she knew that god would protect her as soon as red tiger was well enough he was moved from the hospital to the jail there in the jail he began to study a bible that amy gave him and he read how the son of god had suffered and died for his sins and that he rose again from the dead red tiger believed in his heart that jesus is truly god's son who has come to save him from his sins he invited the lord jesus into his heart he asked for forgiveness for his sins and his sins were forgiven awesome soon after that important day nobody were allowed to visit the prison amy could no longer visit him she was only allowed to write once in 4 months and it was hard time for red tiger because he was a new christian right and then came the court trial red tiger confessed his crimes he was sentenced although he knew god had forgiven him for his many sins he did not understand how the heavenly father could take care of him even while he was in his prison and one sunday morning red tiger escaped from the jail amy began hearing reports of murders and thefts and you know the people said red tiger is guilty of these crimes but amy refused to believe that red tiger was committing those crimes again and then Amy wrote many messages to him asking him to surrender. Her friends risked their lives to get the messages to him. One day Amy was called to appear before two British officials because she was writing to this dacoit and she was in touch with this guy and these people were like what in the world is this missionary doing what is wrong with her maybe she has some connection with him. So they called her for questioning and she went boldly they questioned her about red tiger's escape and they spoke about many many unkind things trust me they spoke about many unkind things because you know she's a single woman she wants to witness about Jesus to that guy but you know how people look at it they said many unkind things about her but Amy kept a light burning in the window each night at Donaur hospital thinking that red tiger would come to surrender she heard that he and a friend they were not living far away from their place and you know what to disguise herself amy stained her face and arms dark like you know we 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 all know that she did that just to look like indians she stained herself with coffee powder and she went through the jungle to find him in the night God helped her find him. She was able to talk to him and found out that he had not written to his old life of sin, but as she had suspected, others were killing and robbing and blaming the crimes on Red Tiger, and he was very discouraged. 
Now, since he had escaped from the jail, Amy dared not help him in any way because her life might be in danger. And so she left some books with him, praying that God would help him to do the right thing. And Red Tiger promised Amy he would not rob or kill again. And later that week, while praying for Red Tiger, Amy heard shooting. Police had surrounded him. Red Tiger fired several shots into the air, hoping to frighten them. Then he sprang up to a bank of red dirt, threw his gun away, and raised his hands in surrender. He was instantly shot and killed. But he had kept his promise he gave to Amy. He did not use his gun to kill. People continued to talk against Amy and her family because of her friendship with Red Tiger. But Amy was not afraid. She knew God was watching over her and that though her life was threatened, God protects even though that protection is unseen. Isn't this a wonderful lesson, dear Christian? I was surprised the first time I've read this incident in Amy's life. You see, we are scared of challenges and difficulties in our own lives. And these missionaries, they went in search, in search of people, in search of situations, even though they knew that they are going to fall into trouble. Isn't that amazing? Do we have such kind of a relationship with our Heavenly Father? Let us pray and ask God and help us to face life. And when challenges come, let us stand boldly for God, His Word, His truth. When things go upside down, let us not blame God. Let us not say that, Oh God, why did you allow this to happen? Oh God, you don't love me. I think we have come too far to understand who God is, His sovereignty, why He does things in our lives and how He molds them and makes them because He's our Heavenly Father. So dear Christian, whatever you might be going through, trust me, the same God who helped Amy is with us and He is just a prayer away. I hope this podcast has been a blessing to you. Thank you so much for listening till now. I will meet you again in another podcast. Let's discuss about another missionary and how God helped them in their lives. See you all. Until then, take care. God be with you. Bye-bye.